Benevolent King Fates on the Gone City. Dies wir wissen in den Books von in der Imperial Royal Library. Der wir Records of the Benevolent King Fates on the Gone being located on the 16th floor of the ancient insect labyrinth within the Vermont Empire's territory. This is the place described in the records. I was surprised when we were suddenly transported to Vermont, but that's not the main point. That teleportation magic circle that had to our villagers were taught to protect. That means the villagers are the descendants and offsprings of the benevolent King Feld, descendants of the Levant residents, the universal physiology of gods and demons, the vast magic created by the will of some entity has encapsulated the environment that forms Levant. The people who lived within the Levant, which was hard to even conquer, whenever they were born in the Levant or settled down here. In any case, it's difficult for anyone to live under these tough conditions. Uh. Hmm. In the first place, if a human is continuously exposed to this amount of magic power or the essence, they would be unable to maintain their human form, transforming them into something alien, or even into a creature resembling a monster. So, records of settlements, let alone ones with descendants, are not found in any records. To settle down in this place, some kind of condition was required. For us, that condition was blood. The blood inherited from the benevolent king felt bestowed upon us warriors. The power to command monsters. The power to teleport. And the power to provide sustenance. The range of this ability is approximately 50 meters. As long as we consciously do it, we can grant you the same blessing within this range. That's why no monsters have attacked me yet. Exactly. The fact that only a few know about our secret is thanks to that power. To activate the teleportation circle, our blood, which serves as the key, is necessary. Though some research we discovered that by inscribing blood in body runes, limited teleportation is also possible. So, that teleportation back then was due to that? I have a question. Can our blood be used as a key for all teleportation magic circles? No. It only works on those that the descendants of the benevolent king felt have created. After all, there is a wide variety of methods and historical origin of teleportation magic circles. Hmm. I see. We were also blessed with a constitution capable of withstanding vast amount of magic power. The blood of the benevolent king felt possessed various powers. In some ways, the venerable king was an entity akin to a god. But why did our lineage decline? These two blessings. Earlier I mentioned we were able to provide sustenance and pass our powers down to descendants. 
resulted in never-ending conflicts. After the benevolent king Feld's death, various households were established to manage and oversee those within different abilities. However, in the face of immense power, each family became consumed by greed leading to wars. With each conflict, descendants fell. Eventually, our numbers dwindled to just a few. Those who remained decided to conceal their existence. Nowadays, tats like village chief, headhunter and apothecary are used. But in the past, they held positions such as king, commander of the knights and archmage. There were also positions like prime minister, minister of justice and high priest. When I was young, there were even households holding such positions. Even on such a small scale, there were conflicts. Some dreamed of using this power to restore the village. Others feared being exploited for their abilities. Some harbored ambitions for the potential of more power. With each group's conflicting intentions, discussions escalated and eventually they turned into deadly clashes. The households holding these positions grew scarce as a result and became more secretive. The fragmented positions became so sparse that they no longer functioned. Even so, the secret continued and still continues to this generation. Hmm. I, however, intended to put an end to it. Hatra has already become an ordinary village. Even without the bloodlines and blessings, everyone is able to live happy. For us and Ingo, however, the past continues to worry us. Even after over 20 years, seeing Lent carry on his daughter's feelings, made Ingo decide to entrust this secret to all of you. But it seems that Ingo wanted you to lead a normal life. In the end, he couldn't bring himself to say it directly. So we took it upon ourselves to do so instead. Unlike Ingo and Granny over here, I have no opinions on this. I just believe that as long as you are the vessel of inheritance, it's enough. Do you agree, Captain? Well, I confirmed this in the battle earlier. The land I knew had less than average magical and mental strength. But he changed so much that he seems almost like a different person upon returning this time. So I have no problems with this. Well, with those wings on your back, it seems like you have actually become a different being. I will hear the details later. But first, there is something I want to show the two of you. Get on behind me and let's move out. We have arrived. There is something I want to give to the two of you here. To be continued. Thank you for listening. I hope you liked it. And see you in the next chapter. Bye bye.